Hi, ladies. So I thought we would do a little project together. Um, so I'm using an envelope, which is nine by four, and a big old book page, which is eight by almost 11. <clears throat> I probably don't need this big of a book page, but this is a, I, I wanted it a good size, so I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to fold this piece like this. Then I want it kind of... Um, a little bit smaller than my envelope. So maybe right about here. Might need this piece, so I'll say I'll hold on to it. And then I'm going to cut where this fold line is. And that will be our second little tuck spot or pocket um hold right on let me go grab a glue stick I'm getting low on glue stick and when i bought these i bought them on clearance and i took a chance that they would all work well and they did and now they don't have them on uh, clearance anymore at the store that I bought them at so I have to pay if I want these this kind which I I'm in love with I have to pay full price and that makes me sad very very sad but uh, I think it's like $15 for a 24 pack so I guess that's not too too bad but I paid four dollars for the 24 pack at Martin's so <laughs> so I hope everybody's having an awesome Easter today Easter Sunday so let me make sure that's gonna look okay on our on our envelope it might be a little tall I'm gonna cut this down a little bit little shorter there we go because I'm gonna fold this over like that and it will be a page it'll sit over the top of the page let me make sure again no I gotta cut it a little bit shorter I don't think I could cut straight to save my life, but let's see if I can fix that because I made a big old curve. Curvy cut. There we go. That's a little better. So we went to um, church this morning. And then went to I went to the parent in laws. Parent in laws, is that how you say it, or the in laws? Anyways, or do I want it like this? No, I think I want it on the same side. Okay, so I'll have to do this side, and then this side, so like that. <coughs> So I know I have some, or I thought I had some wallpaper pulled out. Let me get some. Okay, so I got some of this cute little dainty, scrolly wallpaper. I'd like to cover some of this with. It's got strawberries on it. So I want to find a good section of that. And I think I'm just going to rip it.
Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put glue on here. Glue it on, then trim off the extra. Like that. I should have waited to put this on because, and then put down my other pieces. of scraps around me so And I need like the tiniest piece right here. I got some new sprays. They're called Lindy's. And I'm in love with them. I wanted to try them out. They come like to you in a powder form in a spray bottle. And then you just have to add. I You have to heat your water up. So I added um, distilled water. And oh my gosh. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Um. What can I show you? Oh, I can show you these little button cards I made. But they have like a gloss or a glimmer or a shimmer to them. I didn't spray the backs, but aren't they pretty? The sprays. And I've been into using a lot of wallpaper lately. Well, some wallpaper, because I, I don't really have a lot, but I, I do have some. So on this one, I'm going to do the other paper first and then do the wallpaper. Of that and maybe add some of this. Scrap. Scrap stuff.
Alright, let's see. Glue that down and then whip around it. Oh, I like how some of the layers of the the layers of the wallpaper are like that. I like that. <clears throat> Okay, so that's all right. I don't mind that. Beer pockets. Where that's not. That's okay. I'm gonna sew around them anyway. And then for our envelope, we're gonna cover this too. Maybe I can just cover this with a whole piece. I really like this wallpaper so I'm gonna use some of the aliens I'm not worried about that window I'm not gonna try to save that cover on this and get it out of the way. Have you guys ever heard of, uh, it's called braided palm? Well, I just found out when I, my great aunt does braided palm. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful where she braids the leaves of a palm leaf or a palm tree or, I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is, but. Um, I seen a picture on her Facebook and I fell in love with it and the colors I could die for. The colors were gorgeous of the palm, like greens and like, it looked like the leaves had, had started to, um, like gradually go to a lighter green. It was so pretty, so pretty. But I didn't even know there was an art like that out there. It kind of reminded me of uh, like 
basket weaving, the way they were braided. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I know I'm going to put my pocket. Where am I going to put my pocket? There's an opening right here. Okay. So I'm going to put my pocket here. Okay, so that's all right. And then, so I got to do the other side. I'm going to sew around that. All right. So I got to put something here. And I'm thinking just some uh, like coffee stain lined paper. I think that'll work. But I don't want to, I just want to make sure that I get it to here and not go over. So I'll just glue that like great straight. Of course, I'm filming, so my nose is going to start running. <clears throat> Never fails. My whole upstairs hall was filled with this yesterday. I put down some, like, newspaper... And then put these all down on the floor and turn the fans on them. <laughs> so we couldn't get to the bedrooms and barely could get to the bathroom. <laughs> but they didn't take too long to dry, so that was the cool thing. That was the cool part. That's my next door neighbor's dog barking. You guys can hear that. That's the neighbor dog. The neighbor pup. I don't know if I want a piece of this here or I'll just leave it. I'm covering that pretty spot up though. That makes me sad. Oh well, at least I'll have this pretty area here. And then turn this over, and then this will go here. This will be folded down like that. Alright, I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and sew around these. And I almost want to sew around here, but okay, I wonder if I can get that part too. I'm going to try. Okay, so I'll go do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did... I was going to glue these little tuck spots on, or pockets, but I thought, well, while I'm over here, so what I did was I sewed this side first, and then I did that, put the envelope aside, then I took these, sewed right here and right here, on both pockets. Then I was like, hey... I can sew them right on. So I positioned the pockets where I wanted them and held them in place. And then I just went around this corner and this corner like this and then up around to where I started. And then I just did a little stitch there. So we have a little teeny tiny pocket right here. Just a little one. But we do have a pocket there. So we can stick a little something in there too. So, so you can put a tag in there. Shoot, I didn't make the tags. And I don't think I'll have time to make them. But that's how that's made. And it, it was a lot of fun doing that. 
You can ink it up. You can leave it. You can do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, this would just sit over your page. I like that that has a little pocket there. Isn't it pretty? I like the <clears throat> black stitching, how that really made it pop. And then there's the other side. We could put something here, a word maybe, or something. We need something there. What's this? River stamp outfit. Hmm. Let's see, I got some words. Where did I put them? Where are they? I'm just looking, guys. Sorry. Well, where in the heck? Hold on a second. Okay, so I found a little word. It's integrity. And we're going to put that right there. We're going to ink it up a little bit. Like that, and then glue it on there. And then I'm wondering if I want to use any of my sprays. We'll use the, uh, where is it? Right here. It's got like mica powder in it, that shimmer. There are the Starburst sprays, and this is Mission Bells Brown. It has the directions on it. How to add the water, let set for 10 minutes, shake. Well, you shake before every use. Um, yeah. So. And the color is so vibrant. Let me put the cover on this so I don't get any on there. It the It's coming out like that because of the way that I'm spraying it. I wanted it kind of gloopy like that gloopy it's a new word I'm trying out if I sprayed it fast it would come out like a fine mist but where I'm doing it slow it's kind of coming out like that what is I got a mess going on here it's so pretty though the do I want a little bit of red because we got some like reddish colors or pink. There was enough in the cover that I get some of the red on there. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back here. I think that's enough. There. I'll let that dry and <clears throat> show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, see the shimmer, I know I've showed you before, but it's just really pretty, and then here's on this side here. So there you go, there's our little... Oh, envelope, bucket, pouch, thing. wonder if I want... No, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, ladies, I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me, and I hope to see you on the next video. Okay, bye.